So how are you feeling about seeing the painting? Excited. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> yeah. What if I don't like it though? I'll paint over it. It's fine. It's So Louise de la Vallier was the official mistress of Louis XIV. Um, she was an incredibly Catholic woman and so being in a public relationship with a married man was incredibly difficult for her. She fell in love with Louis and it was a huge problem for her because, you know, as a very pious woman, she was in love with a married man and not only a married man but the most famous married man in the world. The story was one of almost constant guilt from the beginning for her, which just got worse as their relationship went on. I mean, they had quite a few children together, um, but she was essentially the first official mistress of Louis XIV, and so she had to be publicly paraded as a mistress every day, which for someone who was very strictly Catholic was very difficult for her. I order a sandwich, but I think if I eat it now, I'll get like, you know, yeah. I'll ruin my makeup. We don't want to do that. Before we filmed Versailles, I read an awful lot about her, and I was very lucky that Louise actually wrote a sort of moral and philosophical treatise herself. Um, so I was able to read her own words which she kind of looked back and reflected upon her life in court and how bad she felt about it and she looked at her relationship with God and things. So that was really, really useful and amazing for me to be able to read. It's a shame the show sort of started later on in her journey with Louis, but if you'd seen her when she was younger, you would have seen why he sort of fell in love with her. You know, there was more feist in her, I believe, at the beginning than what you see in the show, which is when she's kind of desperate to leave the, the palace because she knows he's falling in love with someone else. And having to watch someone fall in love, you know, with someone else at close quarters and everyone else publicly acknowledging that and being very aware of it must have been really heartbreaking. So, love Louis. The dress was designed by the genius costume designer Madeleine Fontaine and it's just such a privilege to have had um, costumes designed by her, she's just an extraordinary talent. Um, what's so wonderful about all of the pieces that she did for Versailles um, was that she tried to tell stories through the clothes. I love that I get to research these women and find out about people that I would have no idea about otherwise. Um, and that's just brilliant because I'm sort of creating this scrapbook of amazing women from the past that, uh, yeah, that otherwise I, I would never have known. Open my eyes? <laughs> yes, open your eyes. Oh, wow. Oh, it's beautiful. The detail. It all looks so real. Really just want to get inside the painting and sort of walk around the tree and maybe give Louise a hug. Yeah. <laughs>